William Jackson gets his first NFL start Sunday. One of the many reasons the Bengals love redshirt rookie cornerback William Jackson and believe he'll be an elite cover man is that for a first-rounder he doesn't mind playing with a chip on his shoulder. In fact, he has yet to take a snap and it sounds like he already has one when he makes it Sunday 1 p.m. Sin Jackson Sinatis Channel 12 against the Ravens. Told this week he had a good training camp after missing almost all of that and everything else as a rookie last year with a torn pectoral muscle, Jackson shrugged. We all know rookies don't start here, Jackson said. I just have to face reality. They'll work me in. It's enough of a blessing to get in there and compete, though. Not so fast. OK, head coach Marvin Lewis started at least one rookie in 11 straight openers in a streak that ended in 2013 with tight end Tyler Eifert. He hasn't he started one since. And maybe, just maybe, fourth-year cornerback Darquez Denard, another first-rounder derailed by injury, is going to get his first NFL opening day start. Plus, Jackson technically isnt a rookie. But defensive coordinator Paul Gunther is guaranteeing that whoever is active of his 23 players and that could be everybody but injured starting safety Sean Williams and newest Bengal Ringo, they're going to play. Just look at what Lewis did in the preseason games. With cornerback Adam Jones suspended, Denard slid into the slot with Jackson playing outside when teams went multiple receivers early in games. The Ravens might not be so inclined to go multiple with Ravens quarterback Joe Flacco easing into it with his back issues, but Jackson figures to play plenty in Gunther's vision of versatility. We could do a lot of different combinations, and it's really important for the first couple of games, because they're not used to playing as many snaps, Gunther said. I anticipate using every guy that's stressed on defense, really. Some of that is necessity. Starting safety George Illo can EDIDNT play in any preseason games and although HES been back to practice for about three weeks and says he has the fresh legs of a rookie, HES still getting into game shape. Dark hairs Denard looms big on what is his first opening day after three years of injuries. But mostly Gunter plans to play multiple guys because he can. The Bengals' defense looks a lot different this year because you don't know where to look. Gunter is vowing to use different packages on virtually every snap to match the Ravens' offense to the fullest. Last year we had a lot of the same type of guys, Gunter said. What I always like to do is, this guy can do this good or this guy can do that good, and that way it allows you when you see a mismatch here I can, all right let's put him on that guy. He already had some versatility in the back end with Denard playing corner and slot and Josh Shaw playing both corner spots along with safety. But when they drafted third-rounder Jordan Willis, they also got a left end and a right end. Fourth-rounder Carl Lawson gives them a rush end as well as a linebacker. Plus, sixth-rounder Jordan Evans is so fast Gunter can put him in against the run of the pass at linebacker. And that in turn frees up starting linebacker Vincent Ray to play more on special teams and, you get the idea. Anybody could be anywhere. One move can lead to another one. The emergence of Lawson and Willis on the edge have allowed Gunter to move veteran ends Michael Johnson and Chris Smith into tackle on passing downs and it appears that both of their careers have been revived. Maybe a guy plays in nickel, maybe he plays in base, we mix and match them that way, much like we're going to do the corners and safeties, Gunter said. He confirms he plans to play the very intriguing Evans in base run situations as he tries to ease the absence of the suspended Vontes perfect at will with both Ray and Evans. It's not too big for him. He's got good coverage skills, Gunter said of Evans. I don't know why he wasnt invited to the combine, because to me when you watch him at Oklahoma his coverage skills were as good as anybody that's why we liked him. Carl Lawson figures to be in a couple of different spots Sunday. He's another guy who has a good preseason. I told him a long time ago, when I was a linebacker coach here we started two undrafted linebackers in a playoff game and for half a season in Emmanuel Lamour and Vontes as rookies. If you're good enough to play I don't care if you're a rookie or a 12th year guy if you can help us win you'll play. Gunter believes Johnson's 67 frame and outside quickness are giving offensive interiors some problems and he did get some penetration in the preseason. While the Bengals' offensive line has some questions, the Ravens have plenty, too. Pro Bowl right guard Marshall Yander and left tackle Ronnie Stanley barely played in the preseason, left guard Alex Lewis is out for the year, and right tackle Austin Howard just got there. I just think the guards aren't used to his length in there, Gunter said.
It's tough and you're trying to throw over top of him in the middle of the field and HES getting his hands in throwing lanes it makes it difficult. The cerebral Johnson is waiting and seeing, but he says he enjoys the change. It's a learning process, a challenge. But challenges make you better, said Johnson, one of four Bengals who were here for the last home open eight years ago. I think they'll rotate, but we'll see when the time comes. I just know everybody's going to be ready to answer the bell when called. It's going to be exciting. Johnson thinks his height and leverage can help as he tries to become the reincarnation of Wallace Gilberry. I think it can help, Johnson said. I'm looking forward to it the more comfortable I get and just trying to make some plays within the scheme of the defense. As for Jackson, he remembers watching last year's opener on the couch with his parents in Houston. HE's never been in the building for an NFL opener and that's part of the process. They love how he covers he will play a bunch. They just want to make sure they don't rush him. He does a good job, but it's a little different than it is in college, Gunter said, where you just have one guy the whole day and you line up to the boundary or you line up to the field, there's a lot more that goes into it at this level. Dre Kirkpatrick, the most seasoned corner on Sunday, also likes what he sees. He knows it's also a process for young guy like Jackson. I'm definitely confident. They can both make plays and they know their assignments, Kirkpatrick said of Jackson and Denard. People don't know what to expect without seeing Sean and Pack back there, but Darquez has been around for four years. Willie is a young guy who I feel is maturing and adjusting well. At the end of the day there's a lot of room for improvement. The more he learns formations, the more he learns how to play in certain situations, the faster HES going to play. As for Jackson, he remembers last year's opener and watching it on the couch in Houston with his parents. HE's never been in the building for an NFL opener. It's exciting, Jackson said. It's going to be great to finally get out there.